How's it going, YouTube? So last week I made mention that we updated Charlie's Ecosphere. Um, I had a video for that and I was going to show you guys the process of it, but unfortunately I lost it. Um, by lost, I mean I accidentally deleted it. So today I'm going to be making another Ecosphere since Charlie, he's not quite an Ecosphere anymore because we decided to keep it unsealed and kind of the idea of the Ecosphere is to seal it up. So today I'm going to be using this container and we went back to the same location that we found Charlie at and we got some more stuff. So we're going to make another Ecosphere, actually leave this one sealed and then we're going to see how things go. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to wind up doing is I'm going to try, I'm going to try to make the plants stay so that they're on the bottom. Um, what I'm hoping to do is put a little bit of sand around the roots of where the plants are, kind of get them into a little bit of a position, and then hopefully gently pour in the rest of the stuff to kind of keep them in place. I'm not really sure how well it's going to turn out, but we'll see what happens. First thing I should probably wind up doing is stop using containers I can't put my hand inside because it makes it a lot harder. And my tweezers aren't very long. All right, so no luck on finding. <laughs> I, I used to have a longer pair, but I can't seem to find them. So I'm gonna have to wind up pouring it into here and then seeing how things go from there. I would prefer to not have to pour it into another container, especially if there's stuff in there because I don't really wanna risk losing anything that might get stuck to the wall or just stressing anything out that is alive in there more than necessary. So I think from here in the future, I'm going to start using a container that's easier for me to get this stuff back out of. Either that or filling it directly into whatever the end container is. Here, all I'm really doing is dumping the stuff into a container where I can actually reach my hand into it, and then I'm sorting out some of the larger stuff so that I can pour in the smaller stuff and then place the plants afterwards. What I'm doing now is I'm adding a layer of sand to the bottom of the container. In the previous ecosphere, I had a really tough time getting the plants to stay where I wanted to put them. So what I'm hoping for is with this layer of sand, I'll be able to kind of anchor those plants down in location and not have them move around when I fill it with water. Which brings us to the next step. I like to use a ladle when I add the water. That way I can try to avoid stirring up too much of the stuff that's in the bottom of the container. Unfortunately, during these steps, the camera really didn't focus on the water like I was hoping. But all I was really doing was taking the bamboo skewer and re-anchoring the plants back down to the sand that had kind of worked their way out of it when I added the rest of the water. Some of them really didn't seem to want to stay in the sand, so I wound up putting a couple of rocks on top of them. And at the end of it, I did put in a stick that we had found at the park as well. So this is the last and final step, and we're going to seal up the jar. After this point, really, we're going to try to not open it anymore and just see what happens inside, see what life we find and what other things might be happening inside of here. And ultimately, we hope that it'll sustain itself viably for a while. We hope you enjoyed the video and we'd actually love to see any of the projects you guys have started. We're trying to start a little bit of a community of people that are sharing their projects with ecospheres and things of that nature. We've started a Twitter as well as a Discord and we'd love for you to join and share what you've done. You can find the links down below. 